Welcome to the spoken tutorial on front accounting installation on Windows OS. In this tutorial, we will learn to install XAMPP, download front accounting software, do the database setup, and install front accounting in Windows OS. To record this tutorial, I am using Windows OS version 10, Apache MySQL and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.5.19. Front Accounting version 2.4.7 Firefox web browser and a working internet connection. You can use any web browser of your choice. Front Accounting is a server based accounting system. So we will be using XAMPP to set up the web server on our machine. Open a web browser. In the address bar, type this URL and press enter. This will take us to the XAMPP download page. Here, XAMPP is available to download for all operating systems. The latest version of XAMPP can be downloaded by clicking this green button. However, depending upon your software requirements, you may need a different version of XAMPP. In my case, I need XAMPP version 5.5.19. Click on XAMPP Windows link. The redirected page will display all the XAMPP version till date. For this installation, I will select the XAMPP version 5.5.19. Click on the link to download. Now click on save file button. The exe file will get downloaded on our machine. Open the folder where you have downloaded the file. Double click on the file to start the installation. A user account control dialog box opens up. Click on the Yes button. If you have installed any antivirus software on your machine, you may get another pop up window. Click on the Yes button. In the next window, click on the OK button to ignore the warning message. Now the Setup Visa dialog box opens. Click on the Next button whenever prompted and follow the installation steps as shown. Uncheck the Learn More About Bitnami for XAMPP checkbox. Then continue by clicking on the Next button. Once the installation is done, uncheck the Do you want to start the control panel now checkbox. Lastly, click on Finish button. Now we should check whether XAMPP is successfully installed on our machine or not. Click on the window search bar at bottom left of the screen and type XAMPP. We can see the XAMPP control panel in the search list. Right click on the XAMPP control panel and select run as administrator. In the XAMPP control panel, make sure that Apache and MySQL services are running. If not, then start these services by clicking on the start button of the respective services. You may get some error messages like Apache shut down unexpectedly port 80 in use for Apache server, unable to connect to any of the specified MySQL host for MySQL database. This is because the default port allotted to Apache and MySQL are taken by another software. Default port number for Apache is 80 and for MySQL is 3306. To change these ports, refer to the additional reading material of this tutorial and allot the proper port numbers before proceeding further. For example, 8080. Now open Firefox web browser. In the address bar, type localhost and press enter. We should be able to see the XAMPP screen. If prompted for language selection, select English. We are now in the XAMPP homepage. Let's start downloading front accounting. Open another tab in the web browser and go to this URL. Click on Front Accounting 2.4.7.zip. Immediately the download begins. Click on the Save File button and then click on OK button. Once the download completes, open the folder where you have downloaded the file. Here is the file which I have downloaded. Right click on the file and select Extract here. 
once extracted i will rename the extracted front accounting folder as account renaming of the folder name is optional however it helps to identify multiple instances of front accounting installed on a single machine now we have to move the folder account into the web server's root directory the path for the root directory is c colon slash zam slash htdocs right click on the folder account and select copy in the left pane click on this pc which is also called as my computer then double click on local disk c that is c drive and go to zam and htdocs inside htdocs right click on an empty space and select paste we have successfully installed the zam server make sure that the front accounting installer is in the web server's root directory next we need to create database for front accounting to proceed further we will do this in php my admin which is the graphical user interface for my sql it comes along with the zam installation let us go back to the zam page in the web browser on the zam page in the menu at the left click on php my admin click on users in the top menu and then click on add user in the new window that opens enter a username of your choice i will type front acc as my username from the host drop down list select local enter a password of your choice in the password text box i will type admin123 as my password type the same password in the read type text box do not click on generate password prompt for now under database for user account we can see the option create database with the same name and grant all privileges we will check that option and scroll down then click the go button at the bottom right of the page we see a message you have added a new user it means a new database with the name front acc and with user front acc has been created this username and password is only for database login purpose make a note of the username password and database names this will be required later to complete the front accounting installation database name and username need not be the same to have different names create the database first and then create a user for that database also as per naming convention username should not have any spaces in between we now have zam running and our database is ready we are now ready to proceed installing front accounting in the web browser open a new tab in the address bar type localhost slash account and press enter we can see the front accounting web page showing step 1 system diagnostics make sure that the select install wizard language is english scroll down and click on continue button at the bottom of the page the title of the next web page is step 2 database server setting here i will keep the server host as localhost i will keep the server port as empty if you have changed the my sql default port number other than 3306 then enter that port number here enter the following details which we have created earlier database name as front acc database user as front acc and database password as admin123 ignore the rest of options and click on continue button at the bottom next you will need to put the details of your own company i will demonstrate how to do so in the company name field i will type st company private limited i will keep the admin login as admin then i will type the admin password as spoken you can give any password of your choice re-enter the same password remember this is the login password next we see two options for the charts of accounts i will select standard new company american coa select the default language as english click on the install button we can see the final message on our screen front accounting erp has been installed successfully 
which confirms that our installation is successful. Click on the link, click here to start, to login into the Front Accounting interface. In the login screen, enter the following details. Username as admin, password as spoken, company as ST Company Private Limited and click on the login button. We are brought to the Front Accounting Administration page. We can see various tabs on this page. We will learn how to use many of these later in this series. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to download and install XAMPP, download and install Front Accounting software, do the database setup in Windows 10 OS. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshop and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and the second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help to reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as the instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. The script has been contributed by Spoken Tutorial team. This is Pratik Kamle from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.